Well, welcome everyone. Glad you are here. I am happy to welcome you to our noonday prayers. Um, today we're going to be using a, uh, Psalm 126 and uh, my meditation will be on that today. Right now I'm just bringing us up online on Facebook so we can do this live as well as recorded. If you're watching this on YouTube, honored to have you in our midst. We uh, hope that you do consider liking and subscribing and uh, joining us when we do post new content, which we're always doing. If you have any particular uh, comments, uh, please put those in there in terms of requests for intercession or Thanksgiving or just feedback. We appreciate those as well. Try to respond to all of them. Uh, please do be mindful as well if you're a noonday prayer person that you can always just pick any of these noonday prayers. Um, it is appropriate to use them because we rotate through the set readings and uh, and uh, psalm selections. Um, so, and I always note um, on the uh, on the uh, the one which which psalm we're using. So please know that you are most welcome. So thanks for being with us. All right, we cross post because we can. And I take us live. So again, thanks for being here. We appreciate your presence. And uh, just a moment while I call us up live here on our Facebook page. So I can have you all join in and I can also monitor. There we go. Welcome, welcome, welcome. New day prayers this uh, beautiful third day of February. Oh God, make speed to save us. Oh Lord, make haste to help us. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia. Our psalm this morning is psalm, or this noon time is Psalm 126. You can join me in unison. When the Lord restored the fortunes of Zion, then were we like those who dream. Then was our mouth filled with laughter and our tongue with shouts of joy. Then they said among the nations, the Lord has done great things for them. The Lord has done great things for us, and we are glad indeed. Restore our fortunes, O Lord, like the water courses of the Negev. Those who sowed with tears will reap with songs of joy. Those who go out weeping, carrying the seed, will come again with joy, shouldering their sheaves. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The love of God has been poured into our hearts through the Holy Spirit that has been given to us. Thanks be to God. When I was uh, a kid, I loved snow days. Um, I looked forward to the opportunity to uh, have a relaxed beginning to the day. Um, that sense of release from the pressure of schedule and the opportunity to know that, to rejoice in knowing that we would go outside and play in the snow at some point in the day. I also had a parent who was a teacher educator who always made sure that uh, we didn't miss any homework. Um, so there was that as well. Bit of a burden, but we all have our own uh, our own yokes to shoulder and our own uh, our own burdens to bear but uh, I'm always mindful of that. As a priest, I'm less happy when I see snowfall because it always means snow removal costs come to the church and you can never plan on how much or when those are going to hit. So it's a bit of a challenge. But uh, as I was reading the Psalm today and seeing that bit about the Lord restoring Zion, like the water courses of the Negev um, really caught me because those, uh, those wadis uh, subject to flash floods when it rains in the desert were the things that were also a sign of bounty and of the return and the blooming of life. So when we wind up feeling a little overwhelmed by life, whether it be by snow or by circumstance, we have the opportunity also to recognize bounty as well. 
So I invite you on this day when we're all still in the process of digging out from this nor'easter that blew through our region to take some time and rejoice in the fact that we have this moment of reflection, even as we also have the challenges that we have to work through and overcome in the days ahead. We pray as Israel did, both with memory of when God has restored us in the past, but also beseeching God to remember us and to restore us when we are in need. Amen. Again, thanks for being here. Glad to have you with us. Hello, Nancy. Hello, Laura. Um, and please do join us. If you have any intercessions you'd like to tender at this time, please do so, and we'll note those at the end of the office. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Together, our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial and deliver us from evil. Lord, hear our prayer and let our cry come to you. Let us pray. Almighty Savior, who at noonday called your servant, St. Paul, to be an apostle to the Gentiles, we pray you to illumine the world with the radiance of your glory, that all nations may come and worship you, for you live and reign forever and ever. Amen. We pray for the Perchuk family who are experiencing loss, and we pray for Jenna's family as they watch over her mother and as she lies in distress, pray for her relief. We give thanks for all those who are out in this weather doing everything they can to preserve uh, normalcy in life, and particularly for those who, because of the exigencies of the weather, are forced to, uh, to really uh, do everything they can just to stay warm and find shelter. We pray for them. We also pray for Bobbin, who travels north, and for Julia, who is ill. May she return to health quickly. Pray for safe travel for all. Gracious God, for all these things we have asked and for all those things we have kept in our hearts, we grant, ask that you grant them effectually to the glory and honor of your son, Jesus Christ's name. Amen. Well, everyone, thank you for joining in. And uh, as we bless the Lord, thanks be to God. May you also know that you are most welcome to join us morning and evenings, five, 9 a.m. and 5 p.m., Monday through Thursday. As well, we have uh, Sunday worship at 10 a.m. online, both via Zoom and also on Facebook. So may you be blessed, may you be well cared for, may you care for others well, and may your day be full of the glory and love of God. Take care, and we'll see you soon. Five o'clock for evening prayer. Bye-bye.